Coming up next on Ryan's Reel, it's mosquito season, and I'm going to show you how to kill those pesky mosquitoes in your yard. Hashtag made your pain. Killing is my business, and business is good. Coming up next on Ryan's Reel. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Ryan's Reel. The weather's getting nice. It's time to take your yard back from those pesky mosquitoes. Now, one of the main things I'm gonna show you in this edition of Ryan's Reel is that with the proper equipment, you can control mosquito population in your yard and around your house. But you have to have the right equipment and the right gear. What I have on me right here is the Steel SR200 and it does a fantastic job for residential now they make a bigger version but you're then tiptoeing the line about a thousand dollars this one comes in uh, just around five hundred dollars and it takes care of your yard all season long you could call in a uh, pest company pest control or a mosquito control company and every time depending on the acreage or the size of your lot anywhere from a half acre upwards of an acre you're going to be paying around 50 bucks and up 75 bucks a treatment you do the math on that and after four or five six treatments throughout the season you've paid for your own gear now still is a uh, company that does not work with amazon they're not provided on amazon so you'd have to go do some googling in your area and buy it locally this just happens to be the one that i started with now if you're looking on amazon solo makes a great uh unit that's around 300 dollars. i'll put the link down below for that there's also another couple options uh depending on your budget i'll put the links down below in the comments but i want to show you how the equipment works and i'm going to show you the chemicals that you need all right so first thing you got to do is you got to make sure that you have a good blower. If you're trying to do your whole property with one of those little hand sprayers, it's gonna take you two, three days to get it done and you're gonna get eaten alive, okay? With one of these, you can get your entire yard done. I'm sitting on about a half acre and you can do it in probably about 20 minutes to a half hour, you'll have it done. The treatment will last approximately 21 days before it starts to break down okay now um, on this sprayer you can see that there's a trigger there's a throttle right and then you also have the chemical release so you're not blowing constantly only when you choose you flip the trigger up and then you're letting the liquid out you pull this trigger here and you're killing mosquitoes now the proper way to do it is to do two bands around your property the outer band is going to be I'm obviously going to go to these pine trees, this pine tree line, and kind of in all the full foliage, uh, foliage, foliage, <laughs> shrubs, uh, things like that, and try to create a perimeter. The more trees you have, the better type of net or mosquito force field it creates. Okay. Then the second layer is going to be coming in close to your house along the foundation under any decks and on the on the uh, bushes and things like that up right around your deck. I'm going to show you also two different types of chemicals. One that's more for the mosquitoes and the other one that is uh, for no seams, depending on where you live in the country or those pesky little gnats. Those th them's hard to kill. All right, we're going to take this off and I'm going to show you a little bit more about the blower itself. Okay, here we are with the blower guys. This uh, once again, this is the uh, SR 200 that still makes uh, on Amazon solo makes a great one uh, Depending on your budget right around three hundred dollars Most blowers are all going to operate very similarly. You've got the uh, the tank on the top that holds all the solution This is where you put your chemicals in um, you need to make sure also that you read the labels, read the, uh, read the instructions on how to operate the blower, read the labels on uh, especially PPE. Good thing to know. PPE is personal protective equipment. You want to make sure you've got a good mask on that covers your mouth. You want to make sure that your eyes 
are covered with either sunglasses or some kind of shield. You want to make sure that you're wearing long sleeves. Uh, even if it's hot and nasty out, you don't want to get these chemicals on you. And as soon as I'm done spraying, it's straight to the shower for me. So everything gets mixed up. The top goes back on. And you fire her up. Here's uh, two of my favorite chemicals that I treat my property with. The one is uh, from Bayer and it's called Suspend. Now I'm going to try to find this on Amazon and put the link down below in the comments. If not, I'll find a very comparable chemical basically that interrupts the mosquito's life cycle. Okay, so that's one of the things that this is going to do. Not only does it kill on contact, it leaves a residual that interrupts all other mosquitoes' life cycle. You're not going to have 100% no mosquitoes. The only way you could do that is if you could create a force field in the air. Some are going to get through, um, but you should see, if you're doing it correctly, about an 80% reduction in the mosquito population around your house. And that's, that's good enough for me because uh, I get bit up like crazy. My kids get bit up like crazy. Now, on the other hand, you've got the pivot. Now the pivot, this is for the pesky little guys, okay? This is, this is for the no seams and those little tiny lawn gnats that just agitate you all night. Um, I like to call it the killer cocktail. Like I said, when you put these two together, you're killing mosquitoes, 80% reduction, probably up to 90% better on your property. And then also taking care of the little pesky lawn gnats. Now, uh, one of the other positives about this is that you should see a reduction in overall wasps and bees and anything of that nature. Now, if you don't want to harm the pollinators in your yard, make sure you do your research, read the labels, make sure you're spraying correctly. There's also organic solutions, and I'm gonna leave those links down below as well. One is more of a peppermint based, and the other one is a garlic base. Hey, I'm not talking about your average store-bought garlic. Once you spray this outside, it seeps into your house and your whole house smells like garlic. So hopefully it'll add a little bit of spice to your spaghetti sauce. Also, when you look in the links down below, anywhere you have water settling or pooling in your house, the one place that people don't think of is their eaves, right? In the gutters. I know I haven't cleaned mine out in ages, so there's probably water up in there. It only takes a bottle cap worth of water to breed 1,000 mosquito larvae. So they make products that come in little tiny bricks or dunks that you can chuck up into the gutter and land it in there and it will kill all those mosquito larvae that are waiting in your gutters that you can't see. Also scan the property for pools of water. Once again in the link below I'll leave the little uh, Parmesan shaker. I can't think of the name of the company that makes it, but they make a little Parmesan shaker where you can shake the little granules down in, in grates and drains that you can't get that water out. Also, um, children's toys, old tires, anything that holds water. If you can remove those water sources, uh, keep your pets uh, water fresh, especially during the mosquito months, that all helps keep the reduction of mosquitoes in your yard down. Okay, well that's it for this episode of Ryan's Reel. Hopefully you found this information helpful. Click the link down below and subscribe and also leave questions and comments. Uh, anything else that I can help you with so you can take your yard back this season from those pesky mosquitoes. Thanks again. See you next time on Ryan's Reel. This episode of Ryan's Reel how to take back your yard from those pesky mosquitoes. <laughs> Killing is my business and business is good. <laughs> <laughs>